I do folks, how you doing? Just a quick one, <laughs> just a quick one. What we're gonna chat about today though, um, false flags maybe. Now I'm gonna go into something I don't know whether anybody's thought of, uh, maybe a bit controversial, don't give a fuck. This guy, this fella that's been killed by the copper in America, has he? I'm not saying he has or hasn't, I don't know. But it does seem like the sort of thing they do. Um, yeah, it all seems all kosher. The guy gets knelt on his neck, he's screaming, I can't breathe. Um, he dies, there's riots. People are already set up in shirts saying, I can't breathe. The whole world's all geared up. The press, everybody's all geared up for it. Uh, it all runs smoothly for them, don't it? And I just think back to that uh, fellow on London Bridge that got shot by the police in England uh, last year. How was it, beginning of this year? Last year, beginning of this year, who knows? Can't remember, can't give a fuck. And, uh, and he's laid there after the fact, after he's been shot dead, rearranging his clothes, and then he gets up after the fact and walks away. Mm -hmm. I just can't help thinking these things. At the end of the day, you've got a woman comes forward who owns a club in America, New York, or wherever, I don't know, I don't care, saying that uh, they both used to work for her at the same time. They were both doormen there at her company. They both work there together. Are they actors? Are they crisis actors? Is it false flag? I don't know, but it certainly seems a little fucking wonky, don't it? And if you're the sort that just buy into it, jump on it and run with it, just for the sake of uh, you've got a chance to, to fight against the system, that's just stupid. Because when you think about it, they, uh, they set these things up to sway the mood of the people. At the minute, the mood of the people is riotous because of that. And rightfully so, if that was right. But again, as usual, it's the wrong sorts of riots. Um, guided, I would say, as usual. We've been taught when we have a problem with a system to fuck ourselves. So why do we go kicking the fuck out of just the streets, the shops, and I know some of these big corporations deserve burning down. But there's no point in looting them because that just plays into the hands of the uh, parasites. It shows that the people need more ruling and need more laws and legislation to keep them in, under control because they're acting like fucking animals. And let's face it, these parasites have no qualms whatsoever about having somebody die to make them an agenda. They commit fucking genocide on a world fucking scale to create agendas. So you can't think that just one guy dying is going to cause a problem for them. They don't give a flying fuck if he even died at all. Because let's face it, they can make it all look good. They fooled an entire world into believing the fucking moon landings in 69. It's not 1960 fucking nine anymore and they're still fooling you with the TV. Uh, that's all I can say on that one. Really? Well, it didn't. I could say much fucking more on that one. They fool you with literally everything they fucking show you on TV. People, oh, we can't have that because I saw him say this on that. Oh, fucking hell, what have you seen Hollywood do? If Hollywood could have all these believers thinking all that shit that they do, or may, at least making it look so realistic. Oh, I couldn't believe that blood squirting out and fucking heads ripped off and all sorts. They can make it all look good. So you're not telling me they couldn't kneel on somebody's head and make it look like he died. Like I say, I'm not saying it is or isn't. I don't know. But as usual, after these sort of events, the fuckery starts showing. And these fellas work together. Now, they sure didn't seem to be acting like they knew each other, did they? I mean, you don't know the fella's name, but let's just say his name's Bob. And you lay there with Bob kneeling on your neck and you can't fucking breathe. You say, I can't breathe, Bob. 
<laughs> you are, I'm sorry. You Bob, Bob, mate, come on. We used to work together for fuck's sake. Are you killing me? Man, we used to work together. What's the matter? We're friends. We're friends. What are you killing me for? You're going to say a bit more than I can't breathe. Surely. Surely. You know the guy who's killing you. You know him. Don't kind of look like you know him on the telly, does it? I don't know, like I say. <clears throat> Is the fella dead? If he was dead, I'll sound like a cunt to his family. But, you know, I don't care. Because these events happen. These false flags happen. It looks good on telly. I'm not saying it looks good. It looks real on telly. So did 9-11. You know, when you saw them planes bursting through them buildings? That looked real, didn't it? See, so it's easy to jump on a bandwagon. They want to rile us up. So do we keep reacting exactly how they want whenever they give us the exact stimulus that they know create that reaction? Are we that stupid? Are we that gullible? Yes, yes we are. By human nature, we are that gullible. But when you see the game, can you be fooled? I don't believe so. I see the game. I don't... F well, I, I can't say I can't be fooled. I'm sure I can be fooled. There's no special about me. But I've just seen their game and I see their tactics. And when I see something happen that is just their tactics and it's eliciting a response that is just the sort of response they require for their agendas, I've got to start asking questions. Have you? Can we just go on knee-jerk reactions? This is disgusting. Exactly, every single time they want us to react, they will show us something that's disgusting. Because that's the way they want us to react. It's not rocket science. It's not even fucking deep science. It's not even... It's, it's schoolyard psychology. What's this fucking idiot doing in front of me? Sorry. <laughs> you know when you got a gimp in front of you in a motor? Yeah, me. I've got one in front of me now. Anyway... It's very, very basic psychology. I want him to do that, I'll do this, and that'll make him do that. I see it all the time. I, now, I've lived a life, uh, some folks know me, I lived a life having listened to folks trying to get what they want by lying and just manipulating. And I see it a mile away. I've got a friend at the minute who's trying to do it every now and again. Um, just just little things that he could just talk to me straight but he chooses to try and manipulate and, and I see it a mile off so it will not work it causes bad feelings and, and this is what fucking happens um, manipulation to me I see through the fucker whether it's a friend trying to get his own way or or trying to create a scenario or trying to just get control of a situation I don't care if it's manipulation I'm not fucking interested but this is what I'm seeing from the media all the time which most of us are but I'm seeing it when most aren't folks are falling for everything and I'm sorry if it's coming on mainstream and they're fucking pushing it it's bollocks it's for manipulation the news is not the news the news is it's just propaganda it's, it's fake news it's uh, we need to get some fact checkers on the shit they tell you whatever they need to tell you and we see it all the time there's a million and one examples of the news either lying or manipulating a situation they don't fucking stop it's absolute constant hang on a second sorry it's absolute constant they don't fucking stop so uh why do we uh fall for some of it why where do we draw the line why do we decide that some of it's true and some of it isn't? Because that's disgusting and that it's our values. Well, if that's it's our values, that's just flick the switch they was wanting to, to flick. Why can't you believe their finger was behind the flick? <laughs> it's, it's not rocket science to me and I see so many folk, they, they sway with whatever sounds right to them. But they have no ability to see that these parasites don't only have the ability, they have the knowledge, they have, they have every, every capability of creating 
every scenario and every situation that is disgusting to you and against your standards and that will trigger you to the absolute maximum. They know what will cause a riot. They, they've got fucking algorithms on their computers, on their AI systems that will tell them down to three days before a, an immediate explosive riot. And that's not a planned event. That's like, if you do that, I'll, that'll happen and it'll end up kicking off the world. They've got algorithms that always working this shit out. You don't think they know how far to push you. They don't, you don't think they know what buttons or fucking elicit what responses. They're creating scenarios. Tightening up and everything they do just pulls that noose a little bit tighter on this new world order. While we're waiting for somebody else to fix it. Uh, literally everything they do is pulling that noose a little bit tighter, a little bit tighter. And Although folks still feel it fucking tightening, they still believe that there's somebody going to come with a knife at the last minute and cut them down. You're going to wait till your feet are off the floor to realise there's nobody cutting you down? Really? How far do you want to go, folks? How far do you want to let this shit go? How, where do you draw the line in the sand on lies and deceit? Is it just anything they say that will trigger your values is true? <laughs> and anything that doesn't is a lie? Is it just anything that one wing of the bird tells you is a lie and the other wing you trust implicitly so they've got to be true? You can't, you can't work out yet the two wings of the same bird flapping together in harmony, perfect harmony, to create a perfect turn, maybe a slight difference, and create the perfect circle as they just keep coming round and round and round and round. Said so yesterday on a visit, people forget the last ones every time. Every fucking time. It's ridiculous. Theresa May, nobody mentions that Theresa as bastard anymore, do they? David Cameron, nobody mentions that treasonous bastard. Treasonous, <laughs> treasonous. <laughs> uh, and we could go back, Tony Blair. Whoa, and occasionally, yeah, the parasite does get mentioned, but not in the concept, con, uh, <laughs> concept, not in the con context of uh, the fact that he moved on and the next one did their thing and then they moved on and the next one did their thing and slowly but surely they chip away at you taking away chunks and chunks of your rights and freedoms causing horrendous torts and suffering your trespassers like you wouldn't imagine like most folks don't even imagine because they don't know the law and not knowing the law you can't really imagine the torts and trespassers that are being suffered against you under common law unless you're prepared to look into it but these treasonous fucks are doing this to you. And they chip away at you and then fuck off. It doesn't matter how much they achieve, but they know exactly how much they're going to achieve. It's calculated. There's a science to this shit. They know exactly what they can and can't do. The dates of what they're going to do next and time after that and time after that are pre-written. This is an agenda. It's a plan that's planned to precision. You can't possibly think these parasites, collectively, are just fucking winging it. Surely to shit. You can't think they're just fucking having a pop at it, see if it'll work out. You see the videos of George W. Bush, even back then, saying, in the new world, are when we're successful, and we will be. <laughs> Come on, folk. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna believe any aspect of what you decide to believe for whatever reason you decide to believe it is your business I'm sort of past caring but why are you believing any of it when you know there's an agenda and you know the tiptoe comes towards let me let me just throw a little idea out at you and it's not it's not an hundred percent idea in my head it's not this is what I think or anything it's just a scenario that just ran through my head this morning a big what if what if we've got the new world order coming forward uh, and like I've always said, I truly believe to my heart that every single world leader is fucking selected, not elected. They would not ever allow one in that could cause them any trouble. 
But, say for instance, at the minute we've got the New World Order coming in. They're talking about forced vaccines, pinning the, pin, pinning the world down and jabbing them with injections. Well, they got us in an uproar on that. I'm struggling to believe it, although I did buy into it for a little while. They've even made acts and statutes that are going to fucking defend this. But I'm struggling to believe that they're going to pin a world down and fucking jab them against their will. Really, really, I don't believe that the world would accept that or could accept it. Um, so maybe that was something to get us all fired up. 5G, I'm not saying it's not bad, the meters will show you it's bad, but maybe it's not meant for permanent use, maybe they're just doing this to wind us up, because money's fake, they could spend trillions without it meaning fucking anything, they could create entire industries and have men and women go into work for years for nothing. Look at the fucking oil rigs, sorry if you don't fucking know about the oil scam, but 90% of our oil is grown in a fucking field. You've only got to apply heat and pressure to any, any bio-vegetation and it expresses oil. Just check it out yourself. But anyway, I digress. I've done the video on that and I'll do another if I have to. But if you don't believe they can create entire fucking industries just to have you believe shit. So, uh... Anyway, fuck it, I'm not going to keep babbling about it. Just fucking folks need to wake up. It's all fucking fake. The world is fucking fake. Why are we falling for anything? Anything they say. They're firing 5G at us. They're firing fucking chemtrails at us. Which, yes, they're chemtrailing us. But they're telling us all this fantastical shit. To have all, we are all riled up. What if? There's the what if. What if, we know there's an agenda, but just what if the entire Trump organization, theater, theatrics, whatever you want to call it, what if it was all set up to be the savior? I, I do believe that anyway, but what if everything else was set up to fail? Everything was set up just to get the world in uproar so Trump can put a stop to it. He put a stop to 5G, he put a stop to chemtrails, he put a stop to fucking vaccinations. He's ended the new world order and all hail holy Trump. But then Trump's in, he moves on, the next one's come on. But what you got? You've got a treasonous regime running you. Now are you going to believe that these, these rich and powerful guys that have took total control over the world are suddenly going to give a shit about you? And they're not really still doing it for themselves. Really. You get a collection of men and women from anywhere in the fucking world. And you put them in charge of the entire fucking world. The fundings and everything that happens with all money, 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 money. With monies that you couldn't imagine. And you don't believe that that would go corrupt. There is no system that could be set up that wouldn't be corrupt. None impossible so why would you believe there's a system right now fighting the corruption for the good of the people businessmen any that businessmen failed businessmen just mega mega fucking rich doesn't make them make them successful it makes them bloodline they part of the bloodline trump's bloodline they're absolutely fucking bloodline they're all fucking freemasons they're all secret societies you don't believe this shit yeah, I posted some up about Trump being a Freemason the other week. Proof positive is a Freemason. So you believe a Freemason's brank, broke ranks and he's just going off rogue? Really? Really? From the high levels of Freemason? I don't mean these little piss pot levels at the bottom level who are just in it to try and make a buck of fucking the fellow men while they have no fucking idea of really what's going on. That's your low level Freemasonry. So just just like the fucking pop stars and your movie stars telling you they're Illuminati. Very, very low level, just there for puppeteering and just there to make sure whenever they want a message across, they can get the message across to everybody. When they want the world shut down, they can shut the world down because they shut all commerce down by getting all the Freemasons to close their places. Everybody must do, so everybody does. Um, this is how the world works. So yeah, I get it. There's like, oh, look at this cunt. Look at that cunt. I don't know where he's off. Ain't no call for you round here, fella. Hang on. I've got to do it, Anta. You know I've got to do it. You know I've got to do it. 
You fucking know I've got to. <laughs> Here we go. You knew it wouldn't take long. I don't know what this shit is, but look at these cunts. Yes, you motherfuckers. What are you up to, you dirty swines? Off to murder people, I suppose. Because after all, war is fucking law, isn't it? Yeah. Go fuck yourself. Teaching the fucking masses to fucking slaughter each other. Absolute fucking ridiculous. They've got all this money for that shit. They've got money for killing, haven't they? Got no money for fucking peace. You don't see Trump ending all fucking wars, do you? You don't see him fucking calling for peace between every country, do you? Folk will believe what they want to believe. They'll believe what they want them to believe too. The parasites put this shit in your head. It doesn't take much to fucking create a, an entire, even an entire platform swaying to, towards their or your views, which is what they want you to believe. And you may not see the reason for it. You may, oh, why would they want us knowing that they did what they're doing? Because we would work, we'd work it out anyway. Logic says when they're doing something to you, sooner or later you figure the fucker out. So it's much better if they control the narrative in the first place by telling you that there's a bad faction doing this to you and we're a good faction and we're going to stop them. That's just politics. We've been hearing that since politics was fucking invented. It's just different puppets saying different shit with the same fucking connotation. All a load of bollocks. Anyway, folk, I'm going to leave you because it was just going to be a quick one. <laughs> but I am going to leave you now because uh, I'm nearly back home. And, uh, yeah, got things to do. So have a good one. Look after y'all. Hope those that are semi-conscious will uh, give themselves a slap every now and again and see the real world, realise, realise with real eyes instead of seeing the dream that they've been woken up into and seeing it as a reality there's no milk tray man he was just on telly as is everything else and don't forget they're using YouTube now just as they use the mainstream TV and Twitter and Facebook and all this shit they're in control of it all. There's only a few of us real out there, not many. And out of a few of us real, I would say three quarters of them are took up with the bullshit. So it'd be nice if folks woke up. But anyway, I'm digressing and going off on one again. I am definitely going. So look after yourselves. Wakey wakey, love you all. Catch you soon. <laughs> Ta-da.